Well, as often happens, when I do recording, um, <laughs> the camera goes off in the middle of a sentence. So I was talking about that shortwave radio and I just wanted to show it to you and say that, well, there, if you want news from the outside, you can, but I happen to really enjoy being off the grid. Now we'll come back to the living room, uh, I should say the bedroom, and it's, it's set up pretty simply, really. All we have here is just a, a little cot and put down a little rug and more of my storage in the back. And I, as I said, I slept very well last night. So now let's turn around and kind of look at things from this end. And you get a little bit of a different, different view. Um, a lot of people ask about whether or not I would like to have windows, and I would. I just haven't been able to get them in yet. On the other hand, this is, this is particularly secure. So this is kind of how life is up here in the Okanagan Highlands in January and if you can be comfortable up here at this time of year certainly you can be comfortable most of the rest of the time I would tell you that up here in the summertime it gets warm but inside the refrigerated container cabin it really does stay considerably cooler than outside because of the insulation there's that great dead wood stove again I really uh, I'm a believer in those because they work so well. Here's a couple rounds of firewood that I got to use that wedge on and cut up. We can go outside for a minute and have a look see before I turn this off. Okay, be patient with me again. <clears throat> it's still snowing and really snowing pretty good so it's about as pretty here as one would ever hope to have what I'm going to do is walk out across the snow here you can see uh, our fire ring for a uh, campfire in the summertime Be patient. I'm trying to slip and slide through the snow. Come out here where you can get a nice view. And there's a mountain across the way. And it's just about as pretty as can be. It really is nice out here. And just quiet. I'm hoping that you can see the snow coming down. Because it's coming down pretty serious right now. Try to stand still for a minute so you can see the camp at this time of year. Okanagan Highlands in the in the winter. Well, I'm glad that you stopped by. Love to hear from you. Subscribe to the to the channel if you'd like. Um, our principal interest is frugal bushcraft and forestry, conservation, simple living, and this campsite is more than anything else a good example of that. Um, once you're up here, you know it doesn't cost much, but anybody can have a place like this. It just takes planning. It took me a number of years to first find the property, save my money, and do all those things that a, a working person has to do so that uh, you could end up with a place like this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off now. I'll walk back into the cabin and, and dust off the snow and uh, finish my coffee. I guess maybe we should look at the temperature here um, outside. I showed you the temperature inside, but it's, it's pretty warm now. At least it feels pretty warm. Let's see. Let's see what the temperature is. Okay. What 
we have right now is it's about three below Celsius, three below zero Celsius, or about 20, looks like 26 Fahrenheit. There you go. So it's not real cold now. The weather report is that it's going to snow like this for a while and then it's going to get cold. And it can get sometimes way below zero Fahrenheit here. And that's why it's so important to have a good heat system in your cabin. Well, thanks for stopping by. And I'd love to hear from you. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, um, or just would like to say hello, please uh, drop me a comment. Welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel.